Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review of what was happening on the pa uh, Iberian Peninsula over the weekend. But before we go to, go to these, if you have seen my other review videos that I posted already, uh, you may already know what's coming, but I want to say it on every video. First off, this Ukraine shirt here uh, will pop up somewhere on the backgrounds, at least for the videos this week. I just uh, decided to do it this way. Uh, after having a change of heart, but uh, in order to show my support for the people of Ukraine, so there will be a Ukraine shirt up there. And also due to some personal problems with having the lab and not having my regular computer now on repair, I have some trouble with the editing. Uh, and so I will keep this video as simple as possible. There will be no graphs, no results and so on. I will make sure to um, give you all the relevant results, but just as a heads up. This will be a rather bare bones video. However, we have a few things to talk about. Uh, the interesting stalemate in Portugal, uh, which reminds me so much of Italy. And for Italy, I've decided I'm not going to do any Italy video today because we have the big cup semi-final coming up. We have also have a big cup semi-final coming up in Portugal. And it's a duplicity of events definitely there that the two top teams just cannot win because there is a much more important game coming up. Um, we had in Spain, uh, all the big boys were winning. So you see here Barcelona up, you have Atleti up, you have uh, Real Madrid up. Um, so in the sense, and we also had Sevilla winning the derby. Uh, so we had many uh, things hap hap happening there. Not too many things happening there. I think there are more interesting stuff on the bottom of, of the table. However, um, one really has to say that at the moment Pro Barcelona is really the informed team and I still am not 100% convinced but I'm gonna go with Xavi's best Mandalorian um, expression. This is the way which cracks me up every time when he gives an interview in English. This is the way. This is the way. It is so Mandal. It's unbelievable. But I will say we'll start in Portugal where I said there was a stalemate. Yes, there's, we will see there's a big cup semi-final come coming up. So Sporting drop points on Maritimo and Porto, despite having numerous chances, I actually, I actually saw the last half hour of, of, of the game. Right when Gilles Vicente, with, uh, admittedly a, a wonderful move, maybe made, 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 made it 1-0. Porto came back, uh, Taremi assisting the equalizer. And then they had more chances than one could really... Um, waste and it ends in a 1-1 one, one draw and so there's no difference between this distance between those two anymore because with that win Porto probably could have said okay title's done no it's not and Benfica just win 3-0 against Guim Guimaraes to just stay in the race so uh the big cup semi-final let's come is of course Sporting against Porto in uh Lisbon the first leg the second leg will be played late in April so yeah a long distance like in Italy I hate it I think a cup semi-final should be one leg not two legs it's not that, that important but it's also very uneven because the second one is Tondela against Mafra <laughs> yeah you can see where uh this is going in terms of who's gonna win the, the cup the winner of this semi-final is gonna win uh, the Portuguese Cup and you know for Sporting this is a big one because uh, it's very unlikely that they win the league in fact uh, I think at the moment it's only 7% yes Porto has a 92% chance according to my model of winning uh, that cup uh, upcoming games uh, Porto has got to Paso Sporting at home uh, to Aruca we have Boavista against Braga which is a local two at Benfica have to play at Porto Port so there's not, not really something big but you know very very often when I say this a big result is happening so over from Portugal let's go to Spain I also said Actually, not too much has happened and still a lot has happened. Uh, we had Valencia beating Mallorca 1-0 uh, away from home. Basically, Mallorca yeah, still in the reach of getting uh, getting in the relegation uh, fight. But, you know, um, we'll, we we, we, we got to see how it goes for, uh, moving forward. For the relegation, Levante, huge 3-0 win. Still think it's a little bit too late. Alaves dropping point, uh, gain, gaining a point at, at Getafe. But they probably would have needed a win if they would have given a big chance. Rayo, as I said, trending downwards, but I think Rayo overall is safe because they played such a uh, wonderful first round. They had the chance against Real Madrid. Uh, I think a Casemiro goal was all early, not given for offside. Um, but Courtois needed to make quite a few saves, and in the end, it was then. Um, 
uh, uh, Bernd Balsamar goal who gives Real Madrid the win and that remains uh, Real Madrid get another important win so um, not more that I can say there Atletico Madrid uh, also win against Celta Vigo maybe they've turned the corner Renan Lodi two goals interesting lineups uh, to be honest uh, that um, uh, since he was speaking uh, as of late, maybe he's slowly shaping a team. Villarreal's five on destruction of Espanyol is notable because um, Pino scores four goals. It's the first time that something like that happened for a Villarreal player and it's only the second youngest uh, in La Liga his, his history. So, quite a remarkable result there. However, to me, the big game was definitely the Seville Derby. Uh, the atmosphere. Not the game actually quite frantic and crazy. Um, it was uh, uh, Sevilla was really sharp in the first half, although um, Betis stars as I out with a bit more bit of pressing, but then uh, Sevilla's quickly got the schneid of them, and then the, their defense was completely calm, calm and busting. I mean, um, what's uh, the goal's name? Uh, former Chilean goalie, I, I, I don't recall now the name, uh, he made an error in judgment, gave, 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 gave a penalty that was already cleared. I mean, Bejarin completely messing up that one. Uh, Rakitic scoring that one. And then from a goal kick, El Adadi gets the the, the, the ball. And again, uh, goalie does not look good. And with 2-0 at the half, there was only one winner because Sevilla don't concede many goals. I think in the second half, they only have conceded uh, to, uh, four so so far. Yes, they end up conceding another one because Betis is trying, but it was very late and deep in stoppage time to sue through Sergio Canales. So overall, um, Sevilla, the deserved winner in the derby, uh, cementing second place at this moment. Real Sociedad getting a 1-0 win, seemingly a favorite result of theirs in the Barcelona against Athletic Club. I can't kind of say yeah, this might be a game that where we have to see is Barcelona uh, really back and at this moment, I have to say, overall, I think Barcelona played really, really uh, good. And it, especially when uh, Dembele came on to whistles again, uh, it really changed the dynamic of the game. And up front, uh, we want to say what we want to say about the transfers. But what the, the variety that Barcelona have, have up front really, really helps them. Now... Uh, Bilbao kept it tight and Aubameyang scored the first goal actually very late uh, and Bilbao also has a semi-final come up the cup that was definitely more important so they didn't play with a full squad either. So uh, again, Barcelona again score four goals uh, and we have to take that but, but we have to take in that into the card. I think maybe the performance against Napoli although I think Spalletti got the tactics the tech, that they're wrong. Also Dembele's second goal wonderful strike uh this is what barcelona needs this is what barcelona is there for pedri excellent i mean he is the best player for barcelona and if he has the support and especially if they have to the strike first up top it looks really great uh, memphis Depay comes back so there are more options up front that is also also good now the foreign score is a little bit deceiving because the last two goals through Luc de Jong and Memphis Depay came of course in the 90th minute or thereafter. So maybe 3-0 was a more uh, apt score scoreline and also as I said Bilbao did not play with a full team squad. But what Barcelona was showing was really really uh, convincing and at this moment one is attempt to say pro Barcelona at this very moment they might be the best team in Spain. It will not be enough for a title push though. But Europa League I think that will be the goal for Barcelona uh, this season. And I think finishing top top four now seems rather secure. And then yesterday evening, a nil-nil Granada against Cadiz. Um, I think that draw just avoids Granada being implicated in a relegation fight. So uh, before uh, we go in, let's have quickly a look at the table. As I said, Real Madrid and Sevilla are up there. Betis just a point ahead of Barcelona. And with um, if you're just for games, Barcelona is in there. I think that we have that Real Madrid, Sevilla and Barcelona will may make it to four. And then I think it's between Betis, Atletico and Villarreal who will make the last chance. Champions League spot. And on the bottom, Cardiff, Alaves and Levante really seem to be the ones that are... Um, going down at the moment can change i don't really really see it uh as i said we have a cup round coming up um but before that 
uh, we have Mallorca against Rasa that a makeup game and on the weekend we have uh, I think another big one with Betis against Atletico Coco Madrid that will go a long way determining whether Betis will stay in that uh, tight title race uh, Real Madrid Rasa that could be interesting so uh, let's see where this is going and then of course we have the Copa del Rey semi-final um, second leg so it's a little bit more in interesting where Valencia play at home against Athletic Club it is tight so this is a uh, uh, whoever wins that one going forward on the Real Betis with a 2-1 advantage over Rayo also in the final we could actually see that both Seville teams could win a title with uh, Betis probably the favorites now to win the cup and Sevilla could win the Europa League I don't think they will win the Spanish League title so yeah that was it from me from whatever happened in Spain and in Portugal, I would love to know what you thought about the happenings there. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.